Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on mathematics and to uh, working on trigonometry. Uh, we have a question that you're going to refer to uh, from the question paper of August 2016, uh, question number five. Uh, so if you had to check here, the first part of the question, we are given 5.1 to calculate the value of theta if five cos theta over two minus one is equal to zero. And our theta is in the interval from zero to 360 degrees. So this is the uh, most important part that you're supposed to have uh, for the angles uh, that you're going to determine because there are so many angles actually up to infinity where this angle uh, or this uh, uh, trigonometrical equation can operate. So that's why you are given the interval. Okay, so how can we solve uh, this typical trig? Okay, I'm going to just have it aside. Uh, that's 5.1 in this case. Okay, so on 5.1, we are given the five cos of theta over two minus one, which is equal to zero. Take note, the interval that we are taking, uh, that we are given is from zero to 360 uh, degrees in this case. If we are to consider this interval, we must have a single trig or a single trigonometric ratio. That means we, have, we must focus on making the cos of theta the subject of the formula. So what can we do? We can transpose the other terms like minus one, we can transpose to the right hand side so that it can be a positive one. So that's five cos of theta over two is equal to one. So here we're just transposing, it is, it is just subtracting. So we can just take it to the other side. It can be a positive. Now we are having one, which is same as one over one as a fraction. Since on the left-hand side, we are having a fraction. So we can cross multiply to get rid of this fraction or to remove the fraction. So that's one times five cos theta, which is five cos of theta is equal to two times one, which is two. Remember, our purpose is to make cos theta the subject so that we can see which quadrant does this cos of theta lies in. So we can divide by five, we are multiplying five times cos theta, so you can divide by five to remove uh, this five here. So the cosine of theta is equal to two over five. So how do you solve a trigonometric ratio of cos theta, which is equal to two over five? What you are going to do, you are going to calculate what is referred to as the reference angle. The reference angle is the one that we determine from the arc of course, remember, uh, we have got arc of course. So the reference angle is determined from the arc of course, two over five, which is shift course on your calculator. Make sure that your calculator is in degrees. So that's shift course two over five. And when you are given a negative, don't, don't consider the negative, you use the positive. Uh, I'm going to uh, tell you, how do you consider that? So the reference angle in this case from this one is going to give us uh, 66 comma 42182 and so forth. So it's going to be four, two, two uh, to three decimal places. The reference angle affects each and every quadrant. That's why you are supposed to calculate this reference angle. Each quadrant is affected by the reference angle. What am I trying to say? In the first quadrant, the theta or the actual angle that you are calculating is equivalent to the reference angle that you're calculating. In the second quadrant, the theta is equal to 180 degrees minus the reference angle that you calculated. In the third quadrant, the theta is equal to 180 degrees plus the reference angle that you calculated. In the fourth quadrant, that will be 360 degrees minus the reference angle that you calculated. Depending with the condition that we are still on our cast concept to say this quadrant is for cos, this one is for tan, this one is for, for sine, and this one is for all the trig which are positive. So here we are given that the cos of theta is two over five, which is a positive number. The number that we are given here, it's a positive. If it was minus two over five, which means you consider where cos is a negative, but this one, it's a positive. 
So we are going to consider where cos is a positive. So that is the major part. And cos is a positive in the first quadrant for all. Yeah, it's for all. Everything is positive. So cos is positive in the first quadrant. And for C, this one for cos in the fourth quadrant. So this is where we are going to have our actual answers for theta from the reference angle that we calculated. So it means, therefore, the first theta from the first quadrant, so from the first quadrant, we are going to have our theta as the reference angle. We said in the first quadrant, theta is equal to the reference angle, and our reference angle is 66,422 degrees. All right, we move on to the other part in the Fourth quadrant, cos is also a positive. And in the fourth quadrant, uh, we saw that in the fourth quadrant, our theta is equal to 360 minus the reference angle. So it is 360 degrees minus the reference angle, which is the one that we calculated of 66,422 degrees. So that's how we can determine our values in this case. All right, so that brings us to the final solution of our theta 360 minus 66,422 is going to give us 293,578 degrees. Okay, so these are the two possible values of theta depending on the interval that we are given from zero to 360 degrees. We are referring from zero to 360. That's a complete revolution only that we are focusing with. Okay, so it means that if this was given as the cos of theta is equal to minus two over five, you were going to calculate the reference angle as it is. We will calculate reference angle without a negative. You remove the negative, you have your reference angle. Then the negative is to show you the quadrant where cos is a negative. And cos is a negative in the second quadrant and in the third quadrant. So you calculate your actual theta 180 minus the reference angle. 180 plus the reference angle. So that is how you calculate uh, theta by solving any trigonometric uh, equation that you be given uh, depending with the ratio. Is it for tan? Is it for sine or for cos? All right, now we are given on fig A, consider fig A below. We are given that Oliver at the top of the, of the lighthouse size a sheep, okay, so we're given uh, o o Olivia here. So this is Olivia at this point, uh, then sides a sheep, which is at this point at C, all right? So what happened? Uh, we are given the point from which the sighting is made is 21 meters above sea level. We are given this one is 21 meters above the sea level, all right? And uh, the angle of depression of sighting is 43,8. The lighthouse was built at the sea level. Okay, so this is what we have. We are given uh, the angle of depression. So the angle of depression simply reverses the angle of elevation. On the angle of elevation, you are looking on the top, like you are at this point and you are looking at the top. The angle of depression is a vice versa. You are at the top, you are looking down. So it simply means this angle and this angle, they are equal. And also you can apply the concept of the alternate angles, all right, the Z angles. Let's just have our normal Z like this, okay, where this angle and this angle are equal. This angle, this angle, they're equal. So it means this angle and this angle alpha, they are equal. So this is going to give us 43,8 degrees, okay? so. It simply means the angle of depression is the same angle that you have as the angle of what? Elevation, looking back to this point, you are going to look back at 43,8 degrees. All right, so that is the idea. Uh, yes, yeah, so the questions were calculate the following uh, 5.21, the magnitude of the angles alpha and theta. Okay, so alpha, we have already calculated alpha here. We said alpha is equal to 43,8 from where? from that concept of uh, alternate angles. So alpha is equal to 43,8 degrees. Then theta, theta is uh, this angle here. This is the one that we are having. This is our theta. So our theta can be taken from the concept of angles in a triangle. You know that angles in a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees. So if angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, we can subtract these two angles from 180, that is the 90 degrees, the right angle means 90 degrees so that we can determine 
uh, our angle theta in this case, or we can simply subtract since this is at 90 degrees. So theta, we can simply refer to our theta as 90 degrees minus 43, uh, 8 degrees. Still, we can obtain the same answer. That's uh, 46,2 degrees, or we can obtain from angles in a triangle. That's 180 degrees minus these two angles. That's 90 degrees plus 43,8 degrees. We are going to obtain the same answer of 46,2 degrees. So that's our theta. All right, so theta is equal to 46,2. So this is what you're going to have. Theta is equal to 46,2 degrees. So this is our theta here. Let's just indicate 46,2 degrees. Okay, so that was the uh, idea of the, of the question. The other part of the question we are now given to calculate the distance from the ship to Oliver in the lighthouse. Okay, the distance from the ship to Oliver, that is, uh, this is the ship here. So we had to calculate this distance from the ship, which is from the point C to where, Oliver is at, Olivia, sorry, I'm skipping on saying Oliver, it's Olivia. From the point C to point A, this is the distance you are supposed to calculate. So we can apply any concept here, guys. Take note, you are in a right angle triangle. You are given one side and you are given two angles. So you can use any of these two angles to calculate this side. All right, so let me just show you what I'm trying to say. Uh, we want to calculate this distance from uh, the point C to B, so to point A. So we have to calculate AC, all right? So that's uh, 5.22, so we have to calculate a, AC. So like I'm saying, according, let's say I'm, re I'm, 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 I'm referring to this angle, 43,8, which is alpha. According to alpha, this side that I'm given, A, B, this side is the opposite. According to alpha, this is my opposite. But this side AC does not change the hypotenuse because it's opposite to 90 degrees. So it means if I am using 43, if I am using 43,8 degrees, if I am using this angle, I'm going to use the ratio of sine because that is where we have opposite over hypotenuse from our Soka Toa concept. Remember, we talked about this uh, concept, Soka Toa. So that's sine opposite over hypotenuse. So it means I'm going to have the sine of 43,8 degrees, which is equal to the opposite, that is 21. So it depends the ratio that you're given. So in this case, our hypotenuse, which is AC. So you can calculate AC from there. Of which, if you were using uh, this part, let me erase this part here. Uh, okay, the hypotenuse does not change anyway. So if you were using this angle that is uh, at uh, 46,2 degrees, if you are using this angle, it means this side is no longer opposite. According to 46,2, this side 21 meters is now your adjacent. So you are looking for the ratio that is called adjacent and the hypotenuse, which is the ratio for, for cost. That's where we have adjacent hypotenuse for cost. So which means if you are using 46, Comma two, we are going to apply adjacent and hypotenuse. So, which means we are going to have the cos of 46,2 degrees, which is equal to the adjacent, that is 21, over the hypotenuse, which is the side to be calculated, which is AC. So, as you can see, it depends with the angle that you are working with, the sides they are mentioned according to the angle. We saw that. According to alpha, this was opposite, but according to theta, this is adjacent. So it depends with the side that you're given. Okay, so anyways, we are going to calculate. So I'm just going to use the first one that I have indicated here. You can even use this one to calculate and prove you're going to have the same answer. So if we cross multiply, because that's a fraction here, it's going to be AC times sine, which is AC sine of 43,8 degrees, which is equal to one times 21, that's 21. So to find AC, we can divide by the sine of 43,8 by the sine of 43,8 degrees. All right, so you can cancel here. That's our AC is equal to 21 divided by sine 43,8. We are going to obtain uh, 
uh, 30 comma 3, 4, 0, 5, and so forth, which is going to be 3, 4, 1, 5 is going to change 0 into a 1 in meters. So which is the same answer that you're going to obtain even from the cost of theta is equal to 21 over AC. You cross multiply just the same way you divide by cost, you obtain the same answer. All right. So that is the idea of uh, how you attempt these typical questions. Then the last part is to calculate the distance of the ship from the foot of the lighthouse. So take note, our lighthouse is this one. This is our lighthouse. Uh, so we want to calculate the distance from the ship. That is the foot. That is BC. This is the lighthouse. So from the foot, that is from B to the boat, uh, to the ship, which is C. So from B to C. Uh, so you can consider a lot of things. We can consider trigonometrical ratios. We can consider Pythagoras theorem on this one. So I don't know which one is going to be best for you. So easier uh, for me to use Pythagoras since we calculated AC. Now we have AC, which is 30, 341. So we can just have our AC here, 30, 341 meters. So I can use this to calculate BC because I'm now having a right angle to triangle in this case. So we can calculate our side BC, all right? So that's 5.23. So like I said, you can even use trigonometrical ratios, whatever that you want. So BC, which is this side, uh, we can have it from Pythagoras, H squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, which is the hypotenuse squared of 30, uh, comma, 341 squared. So this is going to be 30, comma, 341 squared is equal to A squared and B squared. These are the shorter sides which is the 21 and the BC. So we are going to have 21 squared plus a BC squared. So we can transpose 21 squared to subtract. So this is going to be 30 comma 341 squared minus 21 squared, which is equal to BC squared. So in order for us to determine the BC, we can introduce the square root, that is the square root both sides, the square root both sides we have the exact value for BC. So BC is going to be the square root of everything, which is going to be 21,8, uh, that's 21,8992, which is uh, 899 in uh, meters. So like I said, you can even apply or use any trigonometrical ratio in this case, because if you are to consider, depending with the angle that you are given, you can apply any trigonometrical ratio in this case. Let's say you just want to use sine. You can just say uh, sine of uh, this one is opposite hypotenuse. Okay, this one is opposite. The sine of 46 comma, the sine of 46 comma two degrees is equal to the opposite. This is the opposite, which is BC. So we are going to have BC over the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse, which is 30, comma, three, four, one. So you can even calculate BC by cross multiplying one times BC, that's BC is equal to 30, comma, three, four, uh, three, four, one times the sine of what? Of uh, 46, comma, two degrees. So we can even calculate BC from there, which is going to give us uh, the same answer, or sometimes it can be just uh, uh, another way around, but the values, they will be in the same interval or in the same range. So these are the typical questions on trigonometry. Uh, all we need is to revise more questions, guys, so that we actually understand uh, these typical concepts, uh, like how do they ask these questions and how are you supposed to attempt those typical questions from the solving of trigonometrical equations up to the solving of uh, triangles applying your trigonometrical ratios and uh, any other part uh, involving or the use of the Pythagoras theorem. But for now, that's it from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.